Hello viewers, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. I'm Tanvir, how are you all doing today? I hope everybody's doing great. So in this video I'll be talking about how to get RGB in a motherboard that has no RGB header or no ARGB header. Okay, so if your motherboard don't have this three pin like in the middle, there's a, there are four blocks, there are two pins in the front, uh, and, and there's one empty block and there's another pin. So if your motherboard don't have these three pin ARGB or addressable RGB header, how can you get RGB on it? We'll try to solve that problem here. The answer is just get a RGB controller. This is the simplest kind of ARGB controller. And you can see, uh, you can see these kind of like a simple ARGB controller has an ARGB header and then a power supply. You're gonna connect it with your power supply and you can uh, press this switch to control the lightning effect uh, and you might be asking yourself well I have like five fans but there's only one header how am I supposed to work on that okay the answer is simple you need to get the kind of uh, ARGB fans that comes with both male and female connector so what happens here you're gonna connect one of the female connector with the with this ARGB header and then you have one leftover male connector and this male connector will go to another fan's female connector and that fan will have another male connector and that male connector go, will go to another fan and so on that's how you will create a chain link uh, i'll demonstrate okay so in here you can see there is a one male connector with a three pin and one other one female connector for for this fan okay so now this the, the very first fan you will connect the female connector with the rgb controller right there and now you're gonna take like uh, this is the white fan uh the, remember the female connector goes into the rgb controller and you have a male connector left over and uh, this male connector will go to another fan's female connector And this this fan will have another male connector left over. Now this male connector will go to another fan's female connector, and that fan will have another male connector left over that can plug into another fan, and so on. That's and that's how you will create some sort of like a chain link. And if you don't want the simplest type of uh, ARGB controller, you can get the hop style ARGB controller. It follows the same basic principles as like the uh, a simple ARGB controller but instead of like just one header it will have like multiple headers uh, so it will it, it makes your life easier and you can connect all your fans to these like one uh, controller hub and that that like makes your life uh, like a lot easier and you, you avoid wearing mess and uh, you don't have to like get into your case to change like settings you can get a remote control and make sure it comes with the remote control so whenever you are buying an ARGB controller, I would suggest to get something that offers both PWM control and ARGB control so you can get the best of both worlds. I unfortunately I was not able to find one. The one that I found, okay, this is the this is the one that I am using. It comes with a PWM control, a 4 pin PWM and also 3 pin ARGB. But whenever I plugged in the PWM fans on it, I, I can't control speed on it. Uh, if you look closely, you can see this is not a real PWM. It co only comes with two wires. So I would uh, suggest you to only if you get if you have one of these controller, I would suggest you to only connect the ARGB ones. Don't connect the PWMs because you're not going to be able to control the fan speed. I would suggest you to get an additional accessory. Uh, it's called PWM Splitter. Uh, it's like two pack for ten dollars, so one for five dollars. It's really cheap. So you just connect this PWM connector with your uh, PWM header in your motherboard, and then you have these five slots that you can use to connect additional fan to it. So this makes your life really easier, and and this offers fan speed control. So I would suggest you to get this for five dollars you'd be able to control your fan speed so whenever you're buying an ARGB harp make sure it comes with the remote control because if it doesn't it's most likely require a ARGB header in your motherboard and some of the older model like fan 
hub would have like a six pin connector like this so i would suggest you to avoid those as well because they can all they with these you cannot control fan speed your fans will always be running at 100 percent so you don't want that and finally if you can get an argb hub that offers both argb and pwm control you can just get a five dollar splitter five dollar pwm splitter that will like uh, solve that uh, problem for you and you would be able to control fan speed okay so i hope this little tutorial was helpful to you uh, be sure to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching you have a good one